Um, eight isn't very interesting, and I'm not going to do an example. All you have to do is look at the last three digits, just like with four, um, except instead of seeing are the last two digits um, a, a multiple of eight, it's the last three digits. Again, I don't find this one to be particularly useful in most circumstances, because you still have to, to divide a three-digit number by eight to find out whether or not it's a multiple. So, you know, you can take this one or leave it, but it does work. Let's say I've got something like 15,800. Well, this one's pretty easy because I know that this is a multiple of eight, right? 800 is eight times 100, so the whole thing is a multiple of eight. Again, I don't find that one to be particularly useful overall. Nine is exactly the same of th or as three. You add up the digits and you see whether or not the result is a multiple of nine. So example, if I have 207, Again, I can add the digits up. Two plus zero is two, plus seven is nine. And yes, that is a multiple of nine, so 207 is also divisible by nine. Also by three, um, both things are true. And then finally, the last one we're going to look at today is 10, which is probably the second easiest one to remember behind one and that is if it ends with a zero. If it ends with a zero, then it is divisible by 10 evenly. If it ends with anything other than a zero, then it's not divisible by 10. That one's pretty straightforward. So with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Khan Academy now and talk a little bit about division from a fourth grade perspective.